Hey guys, I am Kyle and today's video I am going to show you a comparison of Bitwarden versus 1Password on which one is the safest. Alright, so now here we are and right away let's jump into the security system of both of these password manager. So both of them use AES 256 encryption which is a really good one and a very secure uh, security system it is basically the latest and it is mostly used by uh, high-end popular password managers in the market and they both also use zero knowledge architecture which means that they only send hash data into their system which means that it cannot be read by anyone so the data that you put into your vault right here will not be read by anyone including the password manager staff in the bitwarden right here or even in one password uh, any of the steps of this uh, password manager won't be able to read the data that they receive from your vault so which means you are the only one that knows what is inside your vault right here you are the only one that can see the contents of your vault in that way that would be very secure because even if they get hacked or whatsoever you would be rest assured that your information won't be in the hands of the hackers or so on or the staff of Bitwarden or 1Password can't even sell it because they don't know what it is. It is just hash data. It cannot be read by anyone. So yeah, the Bitwarden and 1Password basically use the same uh, security system. All right, so now let's move on to the next one, which is MFA or multi-factor authentication. So this is very essential to a password manager because this would protect your uh, password manager account from getting hacked. This is a very important extra layer of protection. So I believe that this would be essential to this video right here. And here in the Bitwarden, you have these providers right here. So this are your options in uh, setting up your two-step plugin or MFA right here in Bitwarden. So you have your Google Authenticator app, you have your Authy. So basically you can use uh, many authenticator. It's not limited to just one, like uh, just Google Authenticator or stuff. You can use any authenticator app as long as it's compatible into the Bitwarden. So I'm, gu I'm guessing that it is a lot right here because I used a lot of uh, authenticator app and they all work here on Bitwarden so you could really use uh, most of the popular authenticator apps right here on Bitwarden which is really good and you have your Yubico you have your duo uh, web auth and your email of course if you want to right here so these are your choices for Bitwarden and yeah this is basically it for the MFA of Bitwarden and the next one is the one password and as you can see there is only two right here so you have your security key right here this is more of a physical uh, two-step uh, login and you have your authenticator app which is this one for Bitwarden so you only have these two options on one password and here in the authenticator app of one password again you can also use most of the popular authenticator apps that you can see on the web store right here so if you compare the two-step login right here uh, you have more choices with a bit warning obviously and but the advantage of 1Password is that you have the physical security key right here, which is also really good right here. And not just that, 1Password also has a 34 key security key. So let me just go into my profile right here. And then you can see this right here. We have this secret key right here. This is a 34 key secret key. And this one is needed every time you need to log in into, into a new device right here. So this would add a secret, uh, extra layer of protection aside from your two-step login or your multi-factor authentication. So I think this is a really good one right here. This is a game changer for me. And here in a Bitwarden, you don't have that right here. You only have the recovery code, which we'll be talking about in a minute right here. So I think with, the, with this one right here in the MFA category, I think Bitwarden is uh, one step down compared to one password i think i like one password more because it has the secret key and it also has the uh, multi two-factor authentication right here but of course that is only my opinion but if you think that bitwarden is more up your alley or it's more of your preference then you can go for this one either way you would be left in good hands because both are good mfas right here so you can also 
just use any of this one but in my case i'll just prefer one password because of this secret key right here which i think is very much more secure in terms of security all right so now let's move on to the next one which is the account recovery options so in bitwarden you have your recovery code right here under the security tab and when you click on the view recovery code you'd be able to see it by providing your master password first click on continue on that and then you would be able to see your recovery code right here as you can see this is my recovery code for this dummy account that i have and remember when you want to view your when you want to view your recovery code here in Bitwarden, you need to get your 2FA first. So in my example, I use the Authenticator app in order for me to get my recovery code. So you would need to set up your 2FA first before you can get your recovery code. So that's it for Bitwarden. And then the next thing is 1Password. So 1Password has this one right here. So when I go back right here, you have your emergency kit. In your profile, you can click on Save Emergency Kit. And as you can see, it's now generating. And then you could have this uh, code right here. This is your recovery code. And then you can click on download and it would uh, let you download it as a PDF and it would open up like this. So you have your 1Password emergency kit right here and you have your QR code right here that can uh, set up your account quickly and easily. So you can also use this one. And yeah that is basically it and also for bitwarden you can click on print code and then you would have the print options right here so in this case i think one password might be better in terms of the ui but in security wise i think both of them is pretty much fair it's just that one password is uh in an advantage of use of ease it's much easier to use it has i think yeah i i just feel that one password is more convenient for me compared to this one right here so i'll be having this kind of text but i think if in terms of security then bitwarden would be in here but since we're talking about security in this video i'll give the point to bitwarden right here i think bitwarden would be better with this one right here all right so now let's move on to the conclusion i think it's also worth noting that both of these password manager has never been breached and i think if you choose any of these two password managers right here you will be very very safe because the two password managers in terms of security doesn't really have that much of a difference right here i think the difference is really small right here but if i have to pick a winner right here who has the upper hand i think i would go for one password right here because of the secret key right here because you would need to enter the secret key every time you log in in a new device with one password compared to bitwarden which doesn't have that it only has a very the recovery code which you can only use when you are recovering your account so i think with the with this one one password would win in my opinion right here and also in the emergency kit i like the ui more on the emergency kit of one password compared to bitwarden and also the emergency kit has a qr code in it compared to bitwarden which is only plain text so i think that qr code would be really handy to me especially if i want to log into a different device and i want it to be very quick and very secure because it's from my emergency kit so yeah, that is basically it for my conclusion. I hope this video helped you out. Thank you for watching.